Kinsey's willingness to work with the devil at one point seemed to take on a very literal meaning. One of the interesting things I found several years ago in researching the Satanist Aleister Crowley uh, was the influence that he has had on so many people here in the United States of America. And one of the man, men that he had influenced was Alfred Kinsey. After publishing his male and female reports, Kinsey began to travel abroad and study sexuality in foreign countries. In his book, Kinsey co-author Wardell Pomeroy wrote that Kinsey went looking for a prized item, the diaries of Aleister Crowley. Crowley died just a year before uh, Kinsey's book came out. Crowley was a famous and highly controversial British occultist in the early part of the 20th century. His sexual exploits in bizarre and sometimes deadly satanic rituals had been exposed in the London newspapers. He also talked about taking a virgin and having sexual relations with her and then upon a climax to actually murder her, cut her in six pieces and put the names of the various demon gods on those six limbs, the six parts of her body. Taking the name for the Antichrist in the Bible, Crowley called himself the Beast 666. His famous saying was, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law, by which he justified all forms of immorality. Crowley had a sex temple and had practiced uh, group sex and orgies and what have you, so-called sex magic. Crowley was into pedophilia. He was into uh, justifying his pedophilia. In fact, he had said, let me seduce the boys of England. He wanted to seduce them, and he, then he starts talking about sodomy and it being, should be acceptable. So, uh, I mean, it was quite shocking, especially back then. Pomeroy wrote that Crowley was called by Lord Douglas the wickedest man who ever lived, and his sexual history alone was enough to earn him the title he gloried in, the Beast. Crowley kept a diary up to his death. Two weeks after Kinsey tracked down these papers in England, he found himself in the temple that the beast had founded in Sicily. Kinsey is pictured here inside Crowley's temple, known as the Abbey Philema, where he performed his satanic rituals. On the wall is a picture of Crowley himself, while across from Kinsey is another man named Kenneth Anger. Anger was a close acquaintance who appeared in some of Kinsey's sex films, made in the attic of his Bloomington home. As an avant-garde filmmaker, Anger was deeply involved in the occult. He directed films with titles such as Lucifer Rising and The Invocation of My Demon Brother. Kenneth Anger uh, is a co-founder of uh, Anton LaVey's Church of Satan, and Kenneth Anger uh, also was, you know, had a penchant for younger men, for sure. Bobby Beausoleil was his living boyfriend. That's the same Bobby Beausoleil that committed the first m murder, uh, killing Hinman for uh, Charles Manson. That was his living boyfriend. He played Lucifer in one of his uh, occult uh, movies that extolled the virtues of Aleister Crowley's magic and what have you. In this image from one of Anger's films, we see Bobby Beausoleil, who would later become one of Charles Manson's killers, He's standing next to a doorway with Crowley's maxim, do what thou wilt, painted on the door. A phrase that certainly fit with Kinsey's own view of human sexuality. Pomeroy even admits that, that Kinsey uh, loved uh, Crowley's writings, including uh, specifically mentioning some of his homosexual erotica. Uh, one of his books called White Stains. Kenneth Anger is quoted saying that Kinsey was obsessed with obtaining the Great Beast's day-to-day -day sex diaries. To obtain grant monies and maintain the support of the university, Kinsey needed the excuse of research to validate his 24 hours a day obsession with sex. However, Kinsey's battle cry of do your best and let other people react as they will seemed a variation on Crowley's do what thou wilt maxim. An older Kenneth Anger is pictured here, with the name Lucifer tattooed on his chest. 
So important was Anger's relationship with Kinsey that to this day, the Kinsey Institute Library features a Kenneth Anger collection with an archive of Anger's films as well as the correspondence between him and Alfred Kinsey. Should America be disturbed that the father of her sexual revolution who changed American law and laid the foundation for sex education had such associations? If America continues to be influenced by Kinsey, what will it mean for her future? What Kinsey discovered at Crowley's mysterious abbey might provide a clue. Pomeroy writes that Crowley's curious magnetism drew people from all over the world who came and became his sexual slaves. Some of these women left their husbands to enter the temple. They held group orgies as part of their ritual and included in them the small children the women had brought. He further reveals that inside the abbey, Kinsey found paintings, life-sized representations of sexual activity, including children. Some have considered the possibility that Aleister Crowley was another of Kinsey's pedophiles who kept his diaries as part of Kinsey's sex research. I would be surprised if Kinsey uh, was not, in fact, either paying or communicating with Crowley regarding his sex diaries because Crowley was more open and more public with his sexual exploits than pretty much anybody of the time. He was known as the wickedest man on the earth long before uh, Kinsey would have gone to him. He was far more uh, accessible than, say, a Nazi officer in Germany uh, to Kinsey, and, and as, as ugly as Crowley was to so many people, uh, he wasn't nearly as known or, or there wasn't the reputation that there was with the Nazis. And at the same time, Crowley uh, could have used the money in the 1940s. He had, uh, you know, he wasn't as rich as he was. He had spent a lot of his money, so he would have been more open to that. And then to see that Kinsey was actually reading Crowley's stuff, we know that from Pomeroy. And it would be hard to believe that he wasn't already working with Crowley and encouraging Crowley to continue on with his sexual exploits. One way or another, the, the net effect is the same. Kinsey was fostering much of the same revolution that Crowley had begun over in England and was helping continue what Crowley hoped would take place in the United States of America.